Hi guys, welcome back to our latest video on analyzed game metrics. Let's take a quick look at how football teams may do excellent in today's game. I think that the fantastic statistics presented are always intriguing and fantastic to watch. Without further ado, let's dive into all the actions now. Let's zoom into the overall metric fundamental graph, which contains critical spots that represent one specific team's game dominance. We're using a metric contributed blue trend line in this data-driven event to compute the number of triggers superiority that the chosen team has gained inside its purview. Crystal Palace boasts superior statistics. Crystal Palace has received two trend triggers, which helps to increase its chances of winning within the overall framework. With the information provided, the pick team will be able to use all of its resources and play a solid game as predicted. Welcome to our knowledge funnel. The given hierarchy show how the following six tiers of different segments, making up the overall structure of good game observation metrics, from here we are able to summarize every key elements required in the different tiers domain. With this structure in place we can now target the key components that are working against one another within the metrics. This help us to construct meaningful definitions and strong reasoning points to be valid and provide logical explanation to the curious masses. Crystal Palace was given an R2 metric deviation score of success, with less than 30% favoring home or away. With this standard in place, Crystal Palace is in a better position. Tottenham Hotspur fared better in the two-layer clarity zones when it came to trendline interpretation. Please take a look at the white circle pointing to the segment intersection that is located in either the positive or negative zoning arena. This is a draw, with each side receiving only one category advantage. We have a metric intersection in white and a trend intersection in yellow for measuring methods insights. Before we begin, keep in mind that the blue trend line and yellow trend interaction can only coexist in this metric measurement if there is no other interference. Metric interaction implies that both teams would want to stamp their authority on the midfield dominance zone in order to dominate ball distribution and game rhythm. Metric interaction indicates that both teams will gain the necessary momentum in the finishing effort domain in order to create scoring opportunities in the game. Critical full-time tactical basic controls will be highlighted by a red trend line interacting with specific team factors. Crystal Palace will have an edge due to their players' proclivity to press hard and maintain a close ball interception mentality throughout the game. Crystal Palace's fitness appears to be somewhat superior to that of its opponent, and it may be able to capitalize on this. 
when Tottenham Hotspur's stamina value was predicted to reach 69.49% by the end of the game, significant damage might be inflicted to its own team. What is market logic validation? This is simply a comparison of current market speculation against what our analysis derivation to uncover the differences in what could be the right or wrong. Many supporters have owned fancied wishes and thinly illogical while bring their true faith to support their club but eventually there will be a winner and not all results are desirable. This tool manage emotions and poor delusions to help supporters better manage the outcome in advance. Coming to this past statistic insights which will ignite many areas of knowledge combined and to be integrated as one. Firstly on the tactical play of both teams and how they adopt the changes throughout each games. Next we are seeing more the actions taking place on the field from no of shots free kicks corners flanking pressure and some other key events on the ground. We managed to drill down to more sophisticated details breakdowns in order to educate our audience. At the same time it remind us that there's no perfect team and only by all the good players collaborations daring changes made during the breaks and the direction of the players mindset set the game going. All the essences are beautifully captured here. Trending events are one of the most challenging module to be set into. This required many understanding of how metrics interact with one another. How the triggers evolved between the given data. There are also important knowledge on how a team can be corrupted under some unique circumstances. Here are the three components that can be briefly explained under comparison trends. Weightage denote the amount of money been supported by external forces or syndication. Triggers are the amount of reactive data that resulted the game to turn out to be in some scenarios. For trend metric it explained that some teams will not compete as to gain edge on some monetary gains. As for individual team model. It was to be a berth for the next event for new changes or improvements via current assigned codes. It's logically understood that the first team to score should or may impact the overall result giving the other opponent a run for the money. This is how true in modern competitive game where a slight mistake or hidden fatigues could cost everything. Here we concluded some conclusive statistic and information to visualize on a specific team selected for such projection. Often in a game. Once a goal has been conceded the pressure will be greater on the losing team and see how they can be responding. In short analyzed metrics should contribute the possible successful milestone for every team that need to achieve some decent results. Defense Help to minimize opponent's possession time and shooting percentage per possession. With good defense it is usually more consistent than good offense. As it will win out on the long run. 
tough defense improves defensive rebounding and often building up such momentums are useful for counterattacks against strong opponents. Hence never underestimate the art of good defensing that build a cornerstone of a team. NDV by far is our standard formula used for calculating a percentage of game intensity and effects involving components like Monetary impact Tactical design On-field framework Maximum work rate and comparative game variables These data contain similar simulated magnitude of change data as continuous exploration of actual game behaviors. There is a paucity of studies exploring the effects of what possible triggers may occur within these given regressed conditions.